In the days of slot machines with physical spinning reels, randomness was generated mechanically. The reels were spun and they mechanically stopped at random positions. The math of the game was decided by the positions of symbols on the wheels and the payout table. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine a very simple slot machine with three reels and ten symbols on each reel. On each reel there are nine blanks and one seven symbol. In this game you spin the mechanical reels and the position in which they stop will determine the result of the spin. If all three reels stop at a seven, you win a thousand dollars. Any other combination results in a loss. The probability of each reel stopping on a seven is one in ten. So the likelihood of all reels stopping on sevens is only one in one thousand. Players therefore have a one in one thousand chance to win one thousand dollars, which means that the RTP of this slot is a hundred percent and the house edge is zero. If the payout for three sevens was just nine hundred and fifty dollars, this game would have much more realistic characteristics a 95% RTP and a 5% house edge. Now, let's transfer this game to the more modern world of online casinos and random number generators. The reels can theoretically look the same as before, but they are no longer physical. Instead, the reels are defined by the programmers that designed the game. Each symbol on each reel is assigned a number from 0 to 9, like this. Notice that the 7 symbol is at the 3rd position on reel 1, at the 7th position on reel 2, and at the 5th position on reel 3. Each spin begins with the RNG generating a random number. True random number generators use physical phenomena such as electromagnetic noise to generate random numbers, not algorithms. You can visualize this process using the noise that appears on an old CRT screen. Take a strip of random black and white dots, convert the black dots to ones and the white dots to zeros. Let's take 64 black and white dots as our input. This creates a random binary number which we will convert to the decimal system for the purposes of our example slot machine. Note however that real slots usually work directly with binary numbers. A 64-digit binary random number converts to a decimal number of up to 20 digits long. However, as our game has only a thousand possible outcomes, three digits in the decimal system are sufficient to account for all of them. Therefore, we only need the last three digits of the generated number. This random number, and more specifically its last three digits, is the only thing influencing the result of each individual spin with the game mathematics then using the random number to calculate where each reel should stop. For example, if the generated random number ends in 471, reel 1 will stop at the 4th position, reel 2 at the 7th position, and reel 3 at the 1st position. The example slot has 10 symbols on each reel on purpose, so that only 3 digits are needed to determine the result. Pause the video now to take a closer look at the underlying game mathematics. As you can see, random numbers ending in 471 do not result in a win. In fact, only random numbers ending in 375 lead to a win because of the specifics of this made-up slot machine. Because of how the game mathematics work, whenever the RNG returns a number ending in these specific digits, the player wins $1,000. Any other number results in a loss. In reality, slot machines are more complicated with a large number of various symbols on each reel and special features such as free spins or other kinds of bonus rounds. But this doesn't change the fact that the generated random number is the only thing influencing the results. In our made-up slot machine, every time the RNG returns a number ending in 471, the results are the same. Subscribe to our channel for more educational videos about online casinos and casino games.